Hey guys, and welcome on back to Building with Whip. Today is episode 72, and I want to start off by showing you what we've been working on over at the stream project, which is this whole area right here. A little fishing village down there. We decided to come out here and make like a nice little statue where like an old ancient peoples would have come out here to worship the sea. So we got a nice trident up there. It's looking really cool. I just want to start off by showing this off to you guys, which was really cool. We got wheat fields on both sides. They're still finishing growing up here pretty quickly, but they're both going to be pretty complete. And it's looking really, really awesome. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a pretty awesome one so far. I just got back from a great hike with the dog and the girlfriend, and it was really, really awesome. I'm really looking forward to getting into some Minecraft right now. So before we get too much into the video for what we're going to be working on the castle today, I want to show you guys this over here. So here we have a bunch of cliffs that if you guys saw this before, you can go check out the other videos. I forgot to take like a before picture, but I just decided to start doing this for a stream, or not a stream project, just kind of on my own. I wanted to chill and just kind of do my own thing in the world for a little while. Just kind of take a little bit of break from all the recording stuff. But yeah, so I got all this built up, and as you can see, I'm working on getting the texture variation moving across here. So I'm gonna finish up doing that to start out, and then we're gonna also go ahead and get some grass in here. I wanna make it look similar to what we got going over here, but pretty much not as many bushes. So it doesn't draw away from the castle too much. So while we're over here though, I can show you guys what we're gonna be working on as far as the castle project today. We got this area right there, the side of that guy, that uh, the flat wall up there that's on the palace, we're gonna be working on that guy as well as the palace throne room. And then if we have time, we're gonna work on the chapel down there and try and basically get just as much of this side of the castle done as we possibly can in one episode. So we got a lot of stuff to do. We got to put a wall, a roof on that guy, get that thing all detailed up there, and then maybe land on this tree real quick. And then we're gonna be working down in that area and potentially framing out this tower and figuring out what that's gonna be used for. I think it's just gonna be another open top tower, kind of like that short one we have on the far side of the bell tower. So let me go ahead and get on with finishing up this guy over here and I'll be back with you guys. And then we'll get to work on the castle itself. So I will see you guys in a little while. All right, guys, welcome back. So we got these cliffs all pretty much completely done. I figured we could go ahead and take a look at them real quick before we get on with some actual building for today. This thing is looking pretty awesome. I tried to tone down the bushes quite a bit, but then I kept putting more in when gaps where I was like, there needs to be something there. It looks really, really boring. So we did that. There's a few little extra things here. I'm trying to find one right now that I put in. I think there's one right over here. Did I? Yeah. So I put in some hay bales to kind of show like bird's nests almost or something like that. Some people over in the Discord channel were talking about doing that. Like there's another one right there. just kind of where birds would be nesting on the sides of the cliffs, which was really, really common on like sea on the at like sea cliffs and things like that to have birds nesting on them. So yeah, I decided to try and make some of those and get those to make like kind of fit in here. A few look kind of weird like that, but I think it's okay. I think if anything, we could have made like an overlay layer, including like the grass. So if we make it into like a path block, you can see the grass comes over that. I think if we had done that to the rest of the thing, sorry if there's some drilling in the background right now, that has been going all freaking day and it sucks, man. It's supposed to be done two months ago. But yeah, so if we had done something like that, I guess there's a decent spot right down here, like something there, and then the hay bale underneath, that would look pretty cool. But before we blob on too much for that stuff, I wanna work on the rest of this guy over here. I've done a little bit of planning to get kind of things going. I ended up making this kind of design, bringing this all the way down here. We still gotta put some texture variation into it, but I just wanted to get that guy done and out of the way just so he had something in there. And then I went ahead and filled in cobblestone and put the borders along this tower right up here. And we're going to do a flat open tower kind of up there with those little corner turrets like the one we did last week. So that'd be pretty cool. But this is what the chapel is going to be looking like. Um, yeah, so <laughs> we got this design here. There's going to be two tall windows right here. And then there's going to be one and one right there. Just adding a little bit of extra interest into it. And this is actually going to be coming up into the roof of there pretty much. And so that thing, we might have to edit it up and we'll kind of see how that goes. But yeah, so let me go ahead and get kind of the framework in on this guy. Then we can go ahead and check it out, get a few more things going on it, and hopefully it'll turn out to be pretty cool. So I wanted to start adding the base details in and then we can kind of get into the roof so we can get this guy all boxed in pretty much. And I think that'll really help with bringing the whole design together. So I wanted to add a little bit of a walkway out here in front so you could kind of step up, go all the way around, and then come right back down here. And it just adds a little bit of a walkway for guards to kind of walk around the area. They can 
explore, see what's going on out here and get another little bit of an angle for where they can shoot from, things like that, just adds another extra sense of defense. So what I wanted to do first here is actually bring this polished diorite every other block going around this way. And I think that's gonna come down to here and here. Yeah, that looks about right to me. And then we need to get some stone slabs, which we do have some more stone on us, so that is good. And we can go ahead and throw those in here every other. Let me go ahead and make some more and I'll be right back. Yeah, so I just wanted this to be like a super, super simple border for the way to get into the, or for the way for the roof to start up. It's probably gonna be like a weird like domey roof type thing. We gotta go ahead and bring this wall up back here as well. So we can't forget about that guy. And it's, it's an interesting shape. It is a very, very interesting shape. And we got to work with this wall right here, but I'm thinking we can go ahead and basically just chop all this weird crap out and it'll be totally fine. So we can go ahead and maybe just bring that guy over and throw one of you right there and then go ahead and throw one of those right there and bam and bam. And that gives us a nice little roof shape. We might as well just bring that low corner up over there so it's not weirdly sloping down. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so now that we got this little wall, or not wall, but this little rafters area where you can walk across in place, we gotta go ahead and border it in so it looks a little bit more natural. And I was thinking we'd go with something kind of similar to this. So I wanna try that real quick and kind of see how bulky it'll make everything. And that did not work. I meant to fly over to the other wall. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and bring some stone brick lines down on the corners, make it a little bit thicker. And I don't think I have a whole lot. I think that's all I gotta make. Yep, it looks like that's it. So we'll see how far we can make it with these, but hopefully we can get a good distance. So let me go ahead and get some work done. I'll be back with you guys here real, real quick. All right, so I figured now would be another good time to bring you guys back in. And I've done quite a bit of work. So you can see we kind of have this cool design going across this whole area. I ended up bringing on some stone brick out quite a bit to add a lot of depth to it. This stuff right here is kind of a polish and site. Then we do a stair and stair just to add a little bit of interest. I don't know, I think it looks pretty cool. Then that comes across this whole way and I haven't quite finished up the top side on here yet, but we can go ahead and jump up to there with an ender pearl. And you'll kind of see, we got this design over here going on where basically we're bringing a stone brick right there and then putting a stone slab on it. And then, so we can go ahead and grab this stuff out and that should be all we need. Then we are putting a wall down there actually, trying to just add a little bit extra interest because I wanted it like that. And it didn't really, I, I, I don't know. I figured we'd go with it, make something interesting, try something new and mix it up here because it is the chapel after all. So I think if it's, a, if it's a little bit more artsy, fartsy, I guess you could say, than the rest of the build, that is totally okay with me. So <laughs> it's interesting. It's interesting for sure. I'm not too set on it yet. I don't know. We'll we'll probably leave it unless you guys hate it. So you guys will have to let me know what you think about this one. And then we're going to come over to this side and put these guys on here. And it just adds a little bit of a defensive wall. I'm thinking here in the middle, we go ahead and just do something like that just to even it out. Let's go ahead and fly off into the distance over to this island and take a look back at it and see if it's time to throw our roof on. That actually, that looks pretty freaking cool. Okay, <laughs> I haven't actually looked at this from a distance yet, so I'm pretty happy with that. I, I think that looks like a good start. So yeah, I'm thinking it's time to throw that roof on. We might as well put this into time-lapse gear and get the texture variation in there as well. So I will see you guys on the other side of this here time-lapse. So the chapel is looking pretty freaking awesome. I think we're just gonna start working directly over that way. So we're actually gonna be starting on this tower right here next. And I wanna work on getting these corner bits kind of built up on it, figuring out what we wanna do with them. So I'm thinking to add a little bit extra height to it. We actually, come on, let me get up here. We're gonna start right here. We're gonna start right there. 
and then we're gonna kind of basically bring this guy going all the way up here and we can go ahead and grab a polish and a site right there and I'm thinking that'll allow us to get the angle to place that that is completely the wrong way isn't it it totally is let's go ahead and do that <laughs> so we got there and perfect got it back so what we want to do here is kind of make these weird or wide turrets to round this corner off here a little bit it helps add a lot of interest to the guy and it basically allows us to create some cool designs so here let's go ahead and actually throw in some chiseled stone brick do like that and then here on the corner we can either go ahead and do a full block a stair or a half slab it really doesn't matter so we're going to go ahead and do that guy right there and then here we can go ahead and bring this up just with a dummy block in the middle and then we're doing another stair going out behind it like that and we're going to slowly bring this all the way up let me go ahead and get this first one done so it's not just watch me place these blocks really so this is pretty much what i was thinking for those corner turrets it just kind of brings the brings it out a little bit adds extra bits of depth and things like that into there i do actually want to go ahead and add some stairs and bring that up there a little bit make it a a little bit more blended in, but I think that's a good shape so far. Now we can work on going ahead and getting this one in on this side. So I'll get that guy in place and then we can start planning out the top area. All right, guys, welcome back. So I'm sure you guys have seen something similar to this before. It's pretty much the exact same clone of what we did over on the other tower. I decided to add a little bit of a walkway to get up here right through there. I don't really know what we're doing with the inside of that guy yet, but we're going to finish this thing up and then we're going to finish this guy up over here, getting the top of that on. And hopefully detailing out everything down there and getting all that stuff situated. But this has taken quite a while to get up to this point for this episode. So pretty much what we want to do here is go ahead and grab our polished diorite just to start and go ahead and kind of dot that right along here on pretty much all these different points. On these corner bits, we're actually going to go ahead and raise this up by a full block right there just so we can have like a little standing area to make it more interesting add some extra depth to this guy and add some more variation just getting all that little bits of height variation in here are super super important so over here i'm thinking that means we can go ahead and just bring this around like that as well again and then i'm thinking bam 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 and then we need on top of these guys to make the little extra lighter highlights this is kind of what we've been doing going across the whole area uh let's see we need a lot of stone brick stairs in here as well because we're doing that little design that we do that we've done so far where we kind of make these little arrow slots right there to shoot through and i think it'll really really help this area out by adding in a bunch more of those on the corners here we can go out do that add a little bit of more of a guardrail so you can't really fall off that side right there because we don't want guys shooting arrows and then taking a step back to grab another one and just falling right off the side but yeah, that's pretty much the idea right there of what it's going to look like. Let me go ahead and get this guy in. We can finish off this area and move on to the next part of today's project. All right, and that is that for the top of this guy right here. We can go ahead and maybe add some banners in below or something hanging off these edges. I think that could kind of look pretty cool. Maybe if we came down here and just threw them in like right here, like bam, and right like that I think that could look pretty cool then we can come over here and throw one in maybe oh I thought we were gonna fall off right there maybe one right there and then if we wanted to actually it would be right over there so let's not do that let's just do one on each of these corner bits because over here we wouldn't really want to have one hiding back in the corner but I do want to make it even so we're still gonna throw one back in there we can go ahead and take a little flight off here and take a look back at this guy I think it's gonna be pretty freaking cool yeah, I, yeah, that's going to be awesome. Once we get the texture variation in there on that guy, that's going to be really, really great. Okay, so next step, we want to go ahead and get this guy all framed in and worked out right here. So let me go ahead and do a little bit of work on this because I don't really know what it's going to be quite yet. I like I have the general idea in mind and I have kind of the general sh like we got the general shape here, right? So we're going to have a window, a window and then a big old window out there another window window and then i pretty much want to bring a little area around here we're not going to have a walkway on this guy but i do want to go ahead and kind of have a little strip that makes it a little bit wider almost maybe even if we just did something literally kind of like this and started going around with some slabs maybe we'd use like stone slabs instead of the other ones i don't know maybe what if like we can do that guy right there and then maybe like that 
Yeah, so let me go ahead and get this figured out and I'll be back with you guys. Hey guys, welcome back. So we got a little bit of an update going on here. I haven't finished it all the way around to the other side because I'm looking at, like, I did all this right here and I want to add a lot of like fortifications to it and strength and holding up the area because we don't want this part of the build just, you know, somebody hit it with a catapult or something off of a ship or a cannon and then it all just kind of fall and crumble down because you know it is kind of sticking out and it is the throne room so we don't really want to lose that. But... It's looking very, very stone bricky, and I think I want to go in and add some more, kind of like how I was doing the polished andesite right up there, how I was doing every other. I think I want to go ahead and add some more into there, just kind of making more strips, like maybe other t every two or something. I think I would help it a lot. So I'm going to try that, and then I'll come back with you guys. Hey guys, Anna, welcome back. So it's been quite a while, and I've fought with this thing like crazy, but I think I'm finally at a point where I'm somewhat happy with how it's looking i'm thinking we're just going to move forward and get the roof on and hope that that kind of brings it all together and works well for us and we're kind of lagging here but we went ahead and added this kind of thick thick top border to it i almost want to make it look like it's a crown so we want to go ahead and fly on up there now and you can see i added a lot of extra bits down here made it a lot more interesting just kind of adding a lot of shape to it but I wanted to go ahead almost and make this top area, like I said, look like a crown. And I'm thinking we can go ahead and almost achieve that by grabbing stone brick. We need a lot more stone brick stairs. So let me make some of these real quick. So my plan was kind of do something like this where we have upside down stairs, then a full block, and then that little spiky bit like we have going all the way around. So we kind of carry this pattern going around the whole place. And I think it'll look pretty freaking cool. So we can do something like that then spin this around and repeat the pattern again like there and we throw our polished andesite in and this is going to take a long time to build just because we have to place all these extra blocks just to get the stairs in there upside down and facing the correct way position type thingy mabob and i'm i'm hoping it evens itself out pretty well but it should it should do the trick i hope so we can kind of do that that and bam, right there. And I'm thinking this will give a cool look kind of going around it. Let me get this going all the way around and we can check up with it here real quick. So I ended up having to change up the middle just to make sure it was even going all the way around. So we have that one extra in the middle that's kind of extra spiky. And I think that adds to the crown effect, which is pretty cool. Added some banners right there just to get an extra splash of color. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's time we go ahead and build this, uh, this roof that's the word that's the word i'm looking for i think it's time we go ahead and build this roof up so what we're going to do on this guy it's going to be pretty interesting we're basically going to go ahead and just follow this around and do two going around the entire thing and we'll probably round this front off here a little bit more as we kind of take it backwards but we're pretty much going to take this around all the way like this and i'm thinking right here we just go ahead and do something right there but then I wanted to, after this, basically bring it up by one at a time and more or less create a kind of sloping up roof that's coming up from all different angles. And here in the front, we are definitely, and I'm out of the stuff right there. So yeah, let me go ahead and get this stuff all in place and I'll be back with you guys once we got this roof in place here. And I'm hoping it'll look pretty freaking cool. Well, there we got it. I think that's actually looking pretty cool. I don't know, it's, it's different. It's a lot different than what we had everywhere else. Originally, I wanted to steep it up and like make it too high going up each way, but it would make it taller than that roof, so I actually couldn't do it. And I think I think it actually does look pretty good. I think I'm going to keep it for now. You guys will have to let me know in the comments what you think about this part of it. We could always change it up, but I'm not really too sure how we could. I mean, we could bring it out always to like a straight line like we have that those roofs and do something just shorter of it. But I think I like the rounded look, kind of creating that crown like we were talking about there. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get texture variation in and uh, all of this guy on all the different sides. And I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do this guy over, just like over the next day or so, probably off and on, cause it's a lot. So I don't wanna time lapse it all at once as cool as that would probably look. So yeah, I will see you guys when that stuff is all done and we can end this video off. I am pretty sure it's getting real long at this point. So we gotta we gotta get this guy wrapped up here. So I'll be back with you guys in a little while. All right, guys, it is time to end this video off. So we got a comment or question of the day coming up here. But first I wanna show you guys everything we got going here. I forgot those blocks right there to do texture, just to get a little bit of texture variation in there. I'll fix that later. 
But anyways, our comment or question of the day is from the Glory Hunter FV saying, I'm always so amazed by what you build, Whip, but I have to admit I'm not the greatest builder ever and I don't really have inspiration at all most of the time, so I go looking for tutorials. But every time I see your builds, I get inspired to build by myself, but I'm really not that good at it. Do you have any tips? I mean, wow to all of your builds from the Glory Hunter FV. This is an older comment, but I really wanted to address this one right here. First off, to start off, tutorials, if that's the way you like to build, if that's the way you like to do Minecraft, that's totally fine. Put them in your own world, figure out how you want to do them, and make your own cool scene with other, basically using assets that other people have built. But if you want to go ahead and build like your own more unique stuff that's uniquely what you made, not from tutorials, what I can really say there as the first thing, uh, first to touch on that though, I'm actually planning on doing a bigger video kind of on kind of how to make the concepts or builds, how to kind of get the idea behind what you want to do, just because I feel like a lot of people have been asking that recently and all that stuff. But anyways, my main, main thing is look at other people's builds, watch tutorials, things like that. But instead of copying the, them block for block, take take different things out of the build. Like here you can see, okay, we have this big area right here. It was a flat wall. We decided to round it out here. So we added this extra section. Think of it as another room for a house. So you mix up the house, whatever tutorial you're watching, go ahead and add another section, add another part to the house to it. Copy that style going around, whatever. And then also like here, because it was so tall, we decided to bring it out and make it wider at the base. Just extra little design elements like that. And over here at this guy, I'm trying to find other areas on the castle that we can use just because that's what we've been building on. But there's just like, it's just pretty much all I can say right now before I get too into it for a whole video scene is this one's getting super long just to briefly touch on it. Just take the time and look at elements from different builds. Look at what other people did and see how you can mix that up, mix match ideas from different builds and bring those together. To create something kind of unique and your own. Seeing as we brought this little like symbol out right there, that almost looks like the conquest symbol actually. That's where I got the base idea from and then we altered it up and put that in here and it works out really well as like a little jutting out point. But anyways guys, I do hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. We're getting super, super close to finishing off this castle here. In two more episodes after this guy, this whole exterior should be done as long as we make the time cut off. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a Comment down below if you guys have any more questions for me or would like me to kind of touch on something else because I'm really enjoying doing that. Hit that like button if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you loved it. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See ya.